Okay, moving forwards. Um, we are in the Porsche Moby Dick. What's the designation for it? It's 935-78. Uh, one of the new mods. It's the Limon edition. I've got to remember to be easy on the on the clutch. Uh, we've got some uh, DTMs behind us. We won't see them apart from that little uh, new thing we just got a glimpse of. The rest of the stuff is Group Five and another Limon class that goes with this, which is the Ferrari. Um, so we've got um, a few. Obviously, the Group Five is from the Flash mods. Then you've got the new mods. See the last video in the description. Um, uh, that are sprinkled throughout. And these seem to be well balanced with the field. I'm running at 100% AI. And medium. This is um, got the huge whale tail on it. Better top end speed, but it does match these guys quite well for racing. Just got to be a bit careful with it, as it has got that wonderful power on, front up, understeer. <laughs> due to the uh, amount of brake horsepower and the engine in the back. When you unleash the engine, it leaves the front up a little bit, so you get a lot of understeer, where you don't expect it. As soon as you come off the power, while you're on the brakes, you've got loads of front grip. So you've got to kind of plan around that. And I said be careful with the clutch on your gear changes, because you will blow it. Car model is fantastic as you can see. I'll try and give you some external views next lap around. So you can wonder at the, uh, the length of the beast. It's one of the standard Group 5 Porsches there. If it that's long, it's got nothing on this. People ask me why do you have your tyre noises turn up so high? It's because I can hear things like that, just the wheels starting to chirp, and I can uh, back the pressure off rather right, than trying to feel it in there. Uh, the force feedback, I'll hear the sound before I feel it. Still with me, this guy. Just four speed box on this. Just get a bit squirrely under the brakes there. Over the bumps. Coming up on the Zach speed. This is just the, the turbo just pulls for years. From anywhere. It's uh, a monster. But it's trying to lining up to use that power is the game see just bags of understeer of course I would have got on the inside of him there we could try this on the brakes but a bit ambitious there against the Capri it's a lot better on the brakes than I am Lock it up. I've gone with um, softs, I think. We'll check that in a second. 
Yes. Whoa. So we've got softs on. There's obviously wet and hards available. I want a little extra grip. So we're going to do four laps. We'll see how the tyres hold up. Should be okay for four laps. Because I don't do anything st stupid like that. train behind me, I need to get on this next one. Of course the Thunderflash mods are using the names AI pack, so you will see kind of groups battling each other who've got similar AI and, and breaking away from the pack with lower AI. Bit of smoke coming out the back then, that's not good for me tyres. No, they're okay. Okay. Somebody had the lock, but my turbo's kicked in, and it's just just keeps pulling. <laughs> now we just got to try and get it stopped. Bit of mocking from left there. Uh, Front lifting over the bumps. Whoa. Okay, we're bringing this pack in. Oh, whoa, whoa, they're all packing up. I've gone to the, I've gone to the ground. There's no for me to go there. Let me get back on. Give you room. Stay right away over. Okay, let's try and give you a view of what we're looking at. That's Moby Dick. Ooh, oh, you hang up. View at the back. No, gosh, don't try this in VR, my friends. I've got to get back in here before this corner. Yeah, in VR, doing things like that, it's like you're suddenly teleported outside the vehicle, travelling at 200 mile an hour. It's a bit disorientating. Hopefully you got a little bit of a view of what's going on, what the car is. Porsche, that Ferrari in front ripping off the line. As my turbo kicks in, we will demolish him and we'll back off, no steering. Again. Up over the bumps, couldn't scrub enough speed off. Drop it to second. Spit the gravel off the back tyres. Give it a tap. <laughs> no way we go again. Okay, we'll just try. This thing does not want to trail break. The suspension is not that good. Don't blow the clutch in, not now. He was a bit slow, but again, I did figure for the. I've dropped back, and these AI are a lot slower than what I've been fighting with. I have to watch them, they're a bit, a bit slower in the corners. Big lock up on one of the wheels, I think it's front left again. That's two laps in, two to go. Mm -hmm. Tyres are okay. A little bit warm. Oh god, what a battle going on here. The Group 5 Ferrari and the Le Mans version of it. Okay, just hooked it in. Oh, big slip of the clutch there. Let's get past these again, held up by the uh, Zach Speed Capri. Okay, let's dive on to the next group. Lots of whipping on the downshift. Trying to 
into that clutch. Lots of the turbo kicking and just spinning the rear wheels up. First gear I'm not even going near that one. The uh, lights on the beast are like so. Lighting up all the dials. Okay, we're up on them. Oversteer on the power, understeer. As the turbo kicks in and we hit bumps. Break a bit earlier this time. Massive lock up and I can't get out of it. I'm just going to ride it. It's always great jumping in a new car and looking at a car model, especially when they're really detailed ones like this. It's very distracting, mind you, but... Oh god, my tyres must be flat spotting, because... Really, and it's the front right, and it's really easy to look up now. Just put that on. Oh god, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, front right is down to... 40%, 40% front right, I have a massive lock up on it. I think it was that bit where I said I'll have to just stick in it. I can feel it from the steering, so it's definitely flat spotted. Just have to watch the left hand bends. Locking it up, break a bit earlier. Yeah, okay, left hand bend instantly, massive on the steer. Hook it in. trying to induce the slip angle with the turning and the brakes. Like that. Hmm, nowhere to go, nowhere to go, nowhere to go. Breaking a bit early. Okay, last lap. All together now. Where's he gonna crash? Where's he gonna crash? Nowhere. Yeah, it's really noticeable. Left and right hand turns him out of uh, understeer of boxes of that tyre. Which is all down to me. Running softs and then locks it up for a good. 15 seconds, come up with something that looks like a 50 pence piece. As round as a square. Something on my right, so left. I've not got crew chief in. It's too hot today to deal with Jim. There would be murders, many murders. This Ferrari has scuppered me. Left behind. No damage to the car, but one damage to engine. That tyre front right is cold as well. Not helping the situation. Come on, come on, turn in. Check the tyres again. Yeah, okay, bit of whiff on all of the tyres, but that front right is down to 40. And it's cold. It's not cold, cold, but it's a lot colder than the other tyres. It's kind of a pale green. Uh, the bumps that get you. That's why I was saying earlier on I turned the tyre sound up on the car so I can hear it. Gives me a little bit more control, especially with these older cars with no ABS and things like that. Oh, yeah. Let's get back in this pack. Let's get back in this pack. 
again, lock it up. I've done it again. Just not stop him. Just doesn't want to know. Escape road, get on it, get on it. Ugh. Just will not stop there. Got to come up because it's locking up so easily over the bumpy track. I've got to keep coming off the brakes, and it's like not enough braking power to stop me. I should have braked a lot earlier going into that, given what I already knew. Getting that right tyre scrubbing out. Be nose. Thank you. I know it's hard to drive when you're rear wheel driving. Wheels are in the air, but come on. Oh, we had a slight faux pas there with the gearbox. Stop. Look, the tyres are getting abused now. We've got them on to go. Come on. Done. Oh yeah, front right is now on about ten percent. And snatching the car if you were under the brakes. Right, thanks for watching. If you want to know where this mod is? Go to the last video and find it. Um, it is excellent. It is very very good fact I can give you a look at it I can give you a very quick look at it some people are asking to look at this so we'll uh, we'll show them boom, 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 boom. that one and that's the guy who made them showroom okay so that is what we're looking at with the bloom turned up <clears throat> Yep, and a huge swap shop tail on it. Right, adios.